could be a tool. So maybe, maybe the strings were changed. Mm. Uh, how am I going to do this now? I got 40 pounds, 60 pounds. The pins were probably changed. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. I mean, that's... Yeah. Depends on, on how well these pins will hold. I'm getting close to 100 pounds of torque. Which if means? If it was original, it would be impossible. Unless if it was in an incubator somewhere or... Yeah, okay, so, it, but the question is, is this tunable and, and it can't stay in tune? Yes. That's what I need to know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Because 100 pounds of torque, uh, I may not even get out of a 70 vintage sine wing. Interesting. Okay, unless if it was truly, truly in a good environment, mm -hmm. a maintained environment. Yeah. Let's try another one. Yeah, try another one. I'm getting 100 pounds plus before the sound even starts to change. This one's about 85 pounds. Okay, that's tight in any standard of an instrument. Okay. <laughs> that's good. Oh that's good. All right, I, I, think, I, I, I think I've found out everything I need to know about this piano. Okay, now keep in mind. Uh, this, I honestly do not know, nor do I think this was designed for a full 40 pitch. It no, probably it probably was a little 435 lower. or even lower than that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but it's, you know, obviously, you know, again, and I could be wrong in what I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, I know a lot of the old European pianos all came out with a 1 0 pin. This yeah. seems to have a 2 0 pin. Mm -hmm. But for all I know, that could have been an American standard. Yeah. Okay, so we would have to ask the people yeah. who know more about vintage chickering to answer that question okay. for us. Okay.